Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We will be discussing in detail about steel calculations in a beam Of course we have done this guy for columns in the previous lecture And that was just a square column Here we will go little in detail alright I think for better understanding We must have a few examples So let's do a few examples in the example first, we are asked to calculate steels in kg per given beam. We are informed to take 1 inch concrete core to all sides. And the length of beam is of course 15 feet. Before starting the calculation of our steels, let me show you how the beam must look like. Here we have a 3D wire frame of this beam, which shows the combination of main bars with stirrups. You can clearly see the stirrup spacing to right and left side and you can clearly see at midpoint the spacing is little larger than uh, to one side and another side. I mean the spacing near the supports is minimum and the spacing at midpoint is I think much with respect to these sides. Say how? because the shear force near the support is maximum and the shear force at mid point or at mid span of this beam is minimum all right i think this is not our problem for better understanding shear forces in bending moment in the beams you may watch in the same channel a playlist named with structure analysis by slk today our problem is this one, yes, the beam with one five feet length and the spacing of this shear reinforcement is nine inch. Of course, it's number three bar to left and right side as well. We are informed to take the main bars as one inch in diameter. All right, and the section is also given with a few informations like measurement of height and breadth as well. I think all data is given. I must come straight into solutions, all right? My first approach will be main bars. So let me just calculate the weight of main bars in kg. It's quite simple. For weight of main bars, I just need the length of main bars. I think I must calculate where all length for all these six main bars. Look, uh, these are just six, one, two, and a four at bottom. So I can say the length of one bar times number of bars must be total main bars length. But what is the length of one bar? Of course, you can clearly see from the long section. Total overall uh, length of this beam is just 1 5 feet. I'll just subtract 2 times concrete cover per one side of this beam and to another side of this beam. Now this is the length of 1 bar. Now I'll multiply this guy with 6 because you can clearly see from this section of beam the main bars are 6 in number. Let me just put the value of concrete cover in this equation. I must get 15 negative 2 times 1 over 12. Actually 1 inch is concrete cover. I divide this guy by 12 to convert the inches into pits times 6 which is number of main bars. Do some mathematics with this guy. You must get total main bars length is 8 9 feet. And this is my approach. Yes, we have done it. When we have length of bar, the weight of bar is rather straight per what? I'll use the same formula as I always use, which is d square divided by 5.2.9 times length of bar. Per proof of this formula, you can watch a video toot in the same playlist named How to Prove a steel bar weight formula. It's, it's right straight forward. I have done it in the previous lectures. All right. You can watch it carefully. So the weight of one bar 
uh, which is total uh, weight of these main bars must be d square look in this formula the diameter must be in sutta all right look at our hair the leader shows us that the main bar diameter is one inch it means it eight sutta because one inch equals eight sutta so i'll just say eight square divided by five two point nine times the length of bar which is eight nine when you call, or when you do some calculations some mathematics with this side of this equation you must get 1.21 times the length just multiply these two guys you must get 108 kg is answer which is the total weight of these six main bars in kg and this was our first approach look at just the example requirement we are asked to calculate steel in kg and the main bar is done my next approach is just stirrups i'll say calculation for stirrups it's the same talk i'll just calculate total overall length for stirrups and i'll use the same formula for weight which i did a few minutes ago for main bars so i'll say uh, let me just first, uh, draw a section over here the height is 18 and 12 inch the breadth from the designer side we are informed to take this hook is 8 times the diameter of this shear reinforcement i can say total length of all stirrups of course you can call the stirrups as shear reinforcement so overall length of all stirrups bar must be the length of one the shear reinforcement or the stirrups uh, of course uh, sometime in local language the stirrups are called as rings so the length of one ring time number of rings you can also say what is the length of one stirrup of course it's the parameter with this hook say how i just uh, must need uh, to subtract uh, concrete cover to one side and another side from this overall breadth uh, and let me just say this 12 inch this is 12 inch i'll just subtract two times concrete cover for one side and another side this will give me this clear length of stirrup but this is just only one side i'll say two times concrete cover now just look this side is at bottom but we have a top two it means we have uh, two sides of this uh, uh, rectangle stirrup all right i must multiply this guy with two because one side of this 12 negative two times concrete cover is over here now look at this side of stirrup it's 18 inch but i must subtract two times concrete cover for upper and lower portion now the sides are two I must multiply with 2. So this is the length of one stirrup bar. But it's not yet complete. Because I must need to add this hook too. Which is A times diameter of this shear reinforcement. Look, this is the length of one stirrup. I'll multiply number of stirrups. Where are number of stirrups? Look at this long section. You can clearly count these guys as 1, 2, 3, over blah, 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 blah. Of course, they are 18. Who did count it? Did you? Of course, they are 18, alright, I'm sure. And now look, I'll just plug and chug in uh, for this diameter in this uh, uh, concrete cover. I must get 2 times 12. Negative concrete cover is 1, so negative 2 times 1, plus 2 times 18, negative 2 times concrete cover, plus 8 times 3 by 8. 3 by 8 is, uh, just look over here, the leader shows us that the shear enforcement is number 3. It means 3 by 8 inch, times number of shear reinforcement bars, which is 18. Do some mathematics with this guy 
you must get length of all stirrups, which is 990 inches. I must need uh, to convert these inches into pairs. Of course, this can be done by dividing this guy by 12. Now you can get length of all stirrup bars is 82.5. When we have the length of any bar, of course, we can calculate its weight. Using the same formula we used a few minutes ago for these main bars, which was d squared divided by this guy times length. Now look, what will be the D? Uh, it means uh, the diameter of bar. Look over here, the leader clearly shows us it's number 3. It means the diameter will be 3 suta. So the weight of bar must be 3 square divided by 5, 2.9 times the length of this bar is given over here. We just did calculate it. So, when you just do the little mathematics with this guy, you must get 0.17 times the length of bar. This will give you the weight which is 1.4 kg. I think it's much least, isn't it? 14 kg per 18 shear reinforcement. But this is not least, right? 14 kg is a quite bigger digit, right? And this is kg. So it's good. It means uh, we have done our second approach. Our first approach was weight of main bars, which is given in this palm. And our second approach was stirrup sweat, which is 14 kg. And we have done it. Of course, uh, uh, actually, you have done it. All right. And this is quite simple. And this was just a simple beam having no bending bar or bent up bar. All right. So this was just a simple rectangular beam. Inshallah, we'll do another example uh, uh, based on a beam having bent up bar. All right. For that, just wait. And thank you for watching. See you next time. And was salam.